The movie Memento is a story about how a man named Leonard Shelby is trying to find a man that killed his wife while having the condition of short memory loss. I don't remember. <laughs> but I'm not here to talk about the movie itself, but the philosophy behind it. How can you still be yourself after something that traumatic happens to you? How can someone like Leonard maintain his identity? But let's start from the basic. How can you know you're the same person from last year, or even from two hours ago? What keeps making you the person you were before? Many philosophers have tried to answer these questions with many theories over the years. One of them is called the body continuity theory, which proposes that personal identity persists over time because it remains in the same body from birth to death. Because Leonard lives in this state of having no new memories, he probably has to look in the mirror every once in a while to remember that he is himself in that present moment. We all need mirrors to remind ourselves who we are. I'm no different. But our body isn't remotely the same as the day we were born. Most of our cells die and replace themselves in the course of our life. Our bones and muscles grow, and you could surgically change almost every part of your body nowadays. So if we're not determined to live in the same body till we die, how can we maintain our identity? That's why philosopher John Locke came up with a psychological theory, which proposes that personal identity persists over time because you retain memories of yourself at different moments of your life and each of those memories is connected to one before it. So let's say you don't remember that night when you drank a little too much, but you do remember the painful hangover next morning. And if you can't remember that person of the next morning, then you're still connected to that drunk person of the night before, through a chain of memories. But what happens with someone like Leonard, who doesn't remember a single thing that happened an hour ago? How can he identify himself psychologically? For Leonard, this theory has its flaws, because memories, after all, are not always reliable. Look, memory can change the shape of a room, it can change the color of a car, and memories can be distorted. They're just an interpretation, they're not a record, and they're irrelevant if you have the facts. He remembers the purpose he had the moment he thought his wife was killed, and since he has no new memories after that, he pursues that desire of vengeance, maybe for the rest of his life. He even lies to himself with facts to keep having that pursuit, setting himself up for a new puzzle to unravel, so his life keeps having a meaning, so he can maintain a life his identity. You think I just want another puzzle to solve? Another John G to look for? You're a John G. So you can be my John G. Do I lie to myself to be happy? In your case, Teddy. Yes, I will. There's one other philosopher I want to talk about, and that is Mr. David Hume. Hume disagreed with all these theories, saying that permanent, persistent selves can't be a real thing. For him, it was really easy. If our body and mind is evolving every second, then how is there a constant self with the exact same properties as before? He says that the so-called self is just a bundle of impressions, that our minds are fooled as a constant. But I still love this movie, in the same way I did the first time I watched it. So what about those properties that don't change? Well, philosopher Derek Parfit agrees that there isn't such thing as a consistent self. And even though my personality has changed since the first time I watched this movie, the property of me loving it has survived until now. Parfit says that if we are still psychologically connected to these properties that survived over time, we perceive ourselves as the same person. Now, applying that for Leonard can be a tricky matter, because he, well... I don't remember but maybe Leonard does have a constant self, since his only memories which he identifies with are before the incident. You don't have a clue, do you? 
You don't even know who you are. Yes, I do. I don't have amnesia. I remember everything right up until the incident. I am Leonard Shelby. I am from San Francisco. That's okay. who you were. You do not know who you are. What you've become since the incident. You wander around playing detective. You don't even know how long ago it was. I personally believe that we are evolving every second. That we are allowed to change while keeping the essential properties that make us who we are. Maybe there will be a time where Lenny stops this never-ending loop of finding the man that killed his wife and use his present moment intelligence to evolve and find a new meaning to life. Because, after all, he's just trying to find a purpose that aligns with his identity, just like the rest of us do. My name is Alvaro, and thank you for watching. Now, where was I?